that my name is Taiwo Odeleye. Let me say it properly. My name is Taiwo Odeleye. Um, most people call me Tai. Um, I happen to be the ACS president for um, Aston University. ACS stands for African Caribbean Society. Uh, first of all, I'm just gonna. I just wanna, you know, thank you guys for actually taking your time to watch this video. So for the next two, two, three minutes, um, I just wanna invite you guys to sort of like settle down and listen to what I have to say. Video is to sort of like let you guys see sort of like a different perspective. Obviously, I do chemical engineering. Sorry, I should have said that. I do chemical engineering. The aim of the video is so you guys can sort of like get a different perspective to engineering as a whole. Do you understand? Not just chemical engineering, but engineering as a whole. At the moment, we're in the first lab. Um, obviously, if you can show around, show them around. You can see sort of like the different. You know, obviously, I'm in second year now. We haven't really used most of the stuff here. Um, what we've used, we've used this. So yeah, this is one of the machines we've actually used. This is an automatic refractometry. So if you've got a substance, you put it in there, and the thing reads it for you. Um, this you can use it to sort of like measure how pure substances. You can use it to sort of like analyze the structure of the substance as well. And this is one other thing we've used this year as well. Um, this is a UV spectrometer, is a spectrometer. And what it does, it sort of like uh, measures, it helps you measure the concentration of a substance by passing UV light. So obviously you measure the absorbance, then you use all of that to just sort of like get concentration of what you're trying to do. Most of, so when you put your stuff in there, your data comes out of this laptop and computer. And um, you get a graph and from there you can measure your concentration. So what uh, modules like, do you teach? Like, the, the modules I teach are the design and build module and I'm also involved with the physical chemistry for engineers module. Um, so like, what's your experience as a being so, like, in the chemical engineering module? Just the, the feedback has been very positive from the students. Um, I, get, <laughs> I get the impression that everybody's quite happy with the modules. Um, what is nice is with the engineering students, the enthusiasm that I find with the students, they're exceptionally enthusiastic and and with the, especially with the design and build module, they are taught techniques, things that they previously haven't done, and it's nice to see over the term that they progress and they learn new things. Engineers are in a very fortunate position that post graduation, there are lots of positions for them in areas that they probably wouldn't think of to start off with. They're very sought after as graduates. Uh, which means that uh, when you do graduate, you, you, I don't think many of the graduates have problems finding jobs quite quickly. But it's in all sectors, you've got the chemical, pharmaceutical. So okay. Yeah, what about that? Like, because I don't just want to base my talk on chemical engineering. What about that like, other part of engineering in terms of getting a job, sort of like mechanical? Do you know anything about that? Like the potential of getting a job? Again, I think, I think with the, the automotive and the construction industries being quite buoyant, I mean, they went through a bad patch, but now they've picked up again. I think the opportunities for all engineers, not only chemical engineers, but mechanical engineers, civil engineers, I think the opportunities are definitely there. Um, I, th I think a few years ago the opportunities were fewer, but now I think because the market is improving, I think there are a lot more positions for graduates now. That's a few problems. So if you're doing any experiment that involves sort of like harmful gases, you're doing the, you turn it on and the thing sort of like absorbs, it takes out the
archives have done something called um, PID, so that's a, sort of like a control mechanism. You can use to um, control like a process where um, this is used to sort of analyze the PID performance of a control of a control panel. That's what that's called. That means it's a similar uh, used to so let's say fluid mechanics when you start learning about pumps. This is a similar all uh, used to work out sort of like the efficiency of the pump. So like this is um, this is one type of pump, this is a different type of pump. And obviously you use this computer to, to get your results really. Here we've got the gas liquid absorption column. So this sort of like measures um, how easy it is to sort of like absorb different stuff like water and gas. Yeah. I'm sure you guys can sort of like see that this place is really secluded from the rest of the place and this is a distillation column so this is what most chemical engineers like, like people not just chemical engineers everyone in general this is what most people are used to you know like when you're trying to separate crude oil so this is something that mimics it so you can actually see it happening like these machines are really really expensive but it's really worth it because um, it's really worth it because you're not just learning stuff you're actually seeing the stuff happen, so it's easy to understand. You understand? So, yeah. I'm a second year chemical engineering student. And um, so, like, what inspired you to choose chemical engineering? Uh, more of the love of maths and chemistry. Mm -hmm. So, like, challenging what you um, in general? I would say the transfer yeah. process mm -hmm. it involves different aspects such as physics, mm -hmm. a lot of maths. Mm -hmm. When you're done with chemical engineering, like when you graduate, um, what do you plan on doing in the future? Um, I plan on working in the oil industry, mm -hmm. obviously because there's a lot of money and I, I, I love the fact of, I would love to work offshore. Okay. I chose to study chemical engineering mainly because um, I have a strong passion for physics, chemistry and maths and I feel like it's a more interesting group course which allows me to combine all three of those subjects and disciplines, you know, in equal quantities without compromising so much on one or the other. So, you know, it's, uh, it gives me a nice balance. Like, First of all, what do you plan to do after? What sort of like industry do you want to go into? Um, ideally, I would like to go into the oil and gas industry. Who wants to be that money? <laughs> Yeah, it's a pretty typical thing to do. Um, I mean, I'm obviously Nigerian, it's not tough with my name. So, um, I come from a country where we have, you know, very large oil reserves, you know, it's a very lucrative industry and, you know, looking towards the future. In terms of um, renewable energy, you know, all sorts of stuff that you can do with the uh, degree and, you know, taking care of the environment and you know, making things more green. It's just, you know, there's a lot of things I've got. I would definitely want to go to. I'd just like to thank you guys for actually taking your time to listen. I'd like to thank um, Matt here, Inspire, for actually giving me the opportunity to talk to you guys and just give you guys a, a brief clip into sort of like what life is like down here in terms of the life of an engineer. Really. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and I really hope you guys you know, enjoyed the rest of your conference and um, God bless.